We are watching like you what's happening in Washington, D.C. We're going to take a brief break from the national live coverage that you've been watching on CBS News because we have on the phone live right now Congressman Joe Morelli, who represents Monroe County. Congressman, thank you for joining us. My first question to you is this. Are you okay? Yes, I'm in a uh, secure location within the, uh, the Capitol complex. Um, and uh, and I'm fine uh, physically. Obviously, this is a uh, uh, an incredibly difficult day. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Were you in the House chamber when this happened? Where were you, and what happened? No, we've been uh, been in my uh, was in my office early this morning. We had a, a number of Zoom meetings, but uh, typically a joint session would have all uh, 500 plus members. Of the Senate and House gathered in the chambers, but given the uh, the uh, pandemic protocols, uh, we are uh, at um, it within the Capitol complex, but uh, but not uh, gathered together. Uh, obviously, I don't think anyone uh, foresaw what uh, what unfolded. Um, but um, in any case, we're all in communication with one another, and uh, we will resume. Uh, uh, the work of the, the House and the Senate, and uh, I'm sure we'll vote throughout the night and through tomorrow until the certification is completed. What do you think about what's happening right now? Well, I think it's heartbreaking. I, you know, the, the thing that has separated America out is a republic where people are uh, is, live under the rule of law and uh, support the Constitution, which is the document that uh, that helps ensure that rule of law is followed. And uh, uh, today was uh, uh, just uh, an unimaginable, surrealistic scene here in Washington. You know, obviously everyone has the right to protest, but it's got to be done in an appropriate and safe way, and today was not. Um, but, you know, we may bend, but we will not break. And the resiliency uh, of this country is strong, and we'll get back to our work. And in two weeks, uh, we will have a president who was duly elected, sworn in, uh, and that's the way it's supposed to be. But obviously, you know, it is heartbreaking um, to watch this and to know that our children and grandchildren are watching. And this does a lot about, um, uh, you know, the need to bring people together and unite around a common cause, which is uh, how to make progress for our country and to secure uh, the um, liberty and prosperity for every American. We just heard through a statement New York Attorney General Letitia James call this a coup. We have national leaders calling this an insurrection. Do you think that's an appropriate description? You know, I think, Adam, over the next several weeks and months, we will begin to, uh, to investigate what exactly happened here. Uh, it is incredibly troubling, to say the least, um, when you have the House and Senate chambers invaded by uh, protesters that uh, stop the work of the nation uh, when you have offices uh, uh, where protesters are beating down offices and uh, you know it, 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 it's incredibly difficult to watch um, but we'll have time over the next uh, several weeks I think the work at hand right now is to secure the capital and uh, to get back to the business at hand to make sure that the certification is done uh, and that we begin to heal our country all right, Congressman Morelli, thank you so much for your time. We here at News 8 are wishing you and your colleagues on both sides of the aisle safety today.